If you're a fan of HGTV like me, this might look familiar to you. Pop, corn, ceilings. These eyesores are staples in many old homes and therefore star in many home renovation shows. So why do these ceilings exist? Where do they come from? Why are these things seemingly everywhere when everyone finds them just ugh, ugly? And finally, how do we get rid of them? To start off, popcorn ceilings, otherwise known as acoustic ceilings, were born out of laziness. That's right, they were actually considered a budget-friendly shortcut. Because of this, it became widely adopted, which is why you could find them in so many old homes today. They were especially popular from the 1930s all the way through the 1990s. Popcorn ceiling texture is a spray that's applied to your ceiling. It was used to cover up a lot of flaws in the ceiling. It was time effective, cost efficient, and as you may have heard it called before, an acoustic ceiling, it also served the purpose to absorb sound and reduce noise. Nowadays, the style is simply outdated. Not that the style was ever appealing in the first place. New homeowners and renovators are putting popcorn ceilings at the top of their list of what needs to go first. Really what it's about is hiding any imperfections that might be in the ceiling instead of doing a perfectly smooth drywall. So inherently, uh, these popcorn ceilings are supposed to hide imperfections, but really after time they collect dust, the craters create shadows, uh, and it really ends up being a distraction and a little bit of an eyesore. Besides homeowners wanting something a little less mm, cottage cheesy, there's another big issue facing popcorn ceilings, asbestos. According to Princeton University's environmental health and safety website, Asbestos is a generic term used to describe any of six naturally occurring fibrous materials. Because of its positive qualities such as its strength and heat resistance, it was widely used in building construction beginning in the late 1800s. It was commonly used for things like fireproofing material for steel beams and columns, added to concrete, asphalt, floor tiles, pipes, and as a component in mixtures for sprayed on ceilings and walls. Hmm, but if it's good for pretty much everything, what's the issue? Well, problems arise when these things are damaged, crumbled, or in this case, when someone tries to remove it. The fibers in the asbestos mineral can be harmful when inhaled and lead to serious health risks. Throughout the 1970s, the Environmental Protection Agency began heavily regulating asbestos in different use cases and materials. Eventually, that led to a ban on asbestos-containing spray-applied surfacing materials, aka sprayed-on popcorn ceilings. By the early 1980s, most products containing asbestos had been removed from the market in the United States. So, should you be moving out of your house in a panic if you're living in a place with popcorn ceilings? No. When left intact and undisturbed, these materials do not pose a health risk to people living in it. Despite the outdated style and, well, asbestos, popcorn ceilings still top many homes throughout the U.S. But if you're looking into buying a new property, you're going to want that sucker gone. I can't tell you in particular how many homes across the country or the globe have popcorn ceilings. I can tell you that more than 17,000 of our listings on Realtor.com tout no popcorn ceilings, uh, or that popcorn ceilings have been removed. Uh, so it's definitely a point that home sellers are trying to make. It's a very clear message to buyers, hey, we've taken care of this. But what if you find a beautiful home and the buzzkill is the popcorn ceiling? Well, Rachel knows something about that too. So if you fall in love with a house that has popcorn ceilings, don't despair. You can get rid of them. You can do it yourself and save a little bit of cash, but it is a pretty intensive DIY project. So more than likely, you're going to want to call a professional. And uh, usually the average cost for a popcorn ceiling removal is about $1 to $2 per square foot. 
And that doesn't sound like much, but it can add up quickly. So do the math and figure out what works for you, but know that you may end up recouping those costs when you sell down the road. The textured ceilings aren't just unsightly to look at, their actual upkeep and maintenance is also pretty difficult. If you have a popcorn ceiling and you try to patch and repair it, if you have some type of leak or some other damage, then it's really tough to do and try to make it match. Nowadays, home renovators are offering professional and safe services specifically to get rid of popcorn ceilings. And many companies are creating DIY tools for removing them, like Poppies, for example. DIY projects are good for saving some cash. But if you're not a professional, do some research on how to protect yourself. And definitely test for asbestos before getting your hands dirty.